Hey guys, it's Mike Sork for the AwesomeCast.net, uh, the mini AwesomeCast for this July 15, 2015. Hope you got those taxes in so you can play Hearthstone. That just popped up on the iPhone and Android app stores. It's, of course, been available for the PC, the Mac, the uh, iPad itself. And this is a really good time because myself, I just got into Hearthstone. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get a beta key for the uh, 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 Heroes of the Storm. Uh, game coming up here and uh and and was tempted and jumped into hearthstone and uh but i really wish it was just on my phone and now it is less than a week later and there it is so this is really awesome uh if you haven't played hearthstone and I've, like i said i played a little bit played a little bit of it and we'll go into soul adventure so we can check it out and they shrunk it down and this is the one where you know um this was a a card this was, a, this was a card game that kind of popped up a little bit, and I probably can't get in here without starting an actual game with a person, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we'll pop in. We'll see what happens. Uh, but uh, it really does kind of... Um, it really does uh, uh, capture everything. It's shrunk it down a little bit. We'll select... Uh, so, so if you haven't checked it out, it's really, uh, I, I guess, a lot like Magic the Gathering. Right, uh, you have a deck of cards. You pull them. You can play them. It's a battle kind of situation, and uh, and I think it works out really well. And, and and mostly, I was worried about them shrinking things down. And it's very, um, it, it's a large download. Uh, there's a comment from um, Boy Chachi saying, you know, I was like, hey, it's on Android. You should you should check this game out. And uh, and he said it's as big as the Lollipop update for Android. Yes, it's a big game, but a lot of graphics going on here, um, a lot happening here, a lot of voice, for instance, and uh, and I think it's Mage for the Win from uh, Darren here in the Periscope. Thank you. And uh, But I think it's worthwhile. I think you guys should check it out. Um, and you see, we get in here, and um, they're going to be really mad. I'm going to have to play the rest of this game. I'm glad it's the last podcast of the day. Um but we have things squeezed into the corner a little bit. Your cards are kind of um, down in the corner. Um, and you, you have to kind of bring things out a little bit. Everything isn't laid out for you much in the same way as on the iPad or the PC version. So, it's, again, it's going to be a scrunched down version. And I played a game with it this morning. And I think, really, it, it doesn't really detract too much from the gameplay. I think you still get a lot of, a lot of action out of it. And uh, so I'm going to play my card here throw a T-Rex or a Raptor at him. Um, and, uh, and I think it's a gateway because I was, I've never able to get into like a magic, the gathering kind of game. And, uh, from my understanding that this is so much similar, this might be a way for me to get into this type of thing. And this has actually brought me away from, uh, WWE Supercard, which is just mind numbing in comparison to this. There's so much you can do. And I'm actually playing other people, something that Supercard never actually got to pull off. You're playing against other people's decks, but it's a fake online play. Um, so really cool what they've done here. Um, and, and, and I'm surprised it took them so long to actually do this and have, uh, you know, and have an iPhone version of the game, which means it's going to absolutely explode. It also means you're probably going to have a lot of newbies to pick off, and it probably shouldn't be so bad. Matching appears to be, and I'm doing this at an angle so it's a little hard, uh, matching appears to be pretty good. Um, I haven't been matched up against people, you know, again, being brand, brand new, I played, this is probably the third game I played online after the tutorial, um, and I haven't really, I haven't really had any problems, like, it's been fairly matched up, I won, won two, lost, I think I lost two, one, one, in, in the long run, and even, like, uh, Jolo John, who has, uh, you know, he's been playing this game for a little bit, he's a Magic the Gathering guy as well, um, he popped into my and spectated a little bit on the new iPhone version, just checking it out. And uh, he got to comment, and we're commenting on Twitter about, you know, hey, you know, what do you think about this and everything? And, and I think it's really cool. So check it out. It's Hearthstone. It's on, like I said, all the platforms. Even if you don't have iPhone, Android, you just snag it for the PC. It's free. It's got the premium. You can buy cards and all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, definitely worthwhile. And if you want to kind of dip your toe a little bit in this, if you're like, oh, I don't play card games. Uh, this is certainly, I think, one to, to try out and kind of be a little bit of a gateway drug for you. Um, and, and it's got online play. You know, you don't get a lot of games with true online play on your phone that isn't really, really kind of janky. So 
Go check that out. Legendary Cards Rule. Thanks, Darren, uh, in the Periscope. And uh, you can check out this and everything else, awesomecast.net. And, of course, this is going to pop up since it's some video game-related stuff over at insertcointobegin.com. You just had a great show on Bass Battle uh, where we discussed all manners of video game things and couldn't... Jeez, what was a... a bar? <laughs> it's all... It's all blending together. But actually, it was a fun show, and I think one of the better ones we've had in a while there with uh, Boss Ballot, insertcointobegin.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.